Welcome to In the Lab with Sheldon. Uh, today I've been working on some bulk density samples. And when you're dealing with bulk density, you just want to see how compacted or not compacted your soil is. We're looking at the two different fields, one using cover crop, one without cover crops. And we want to see if the one with cover crops has a lower bulk density versus the one that has no cover crops. Both in no-till, so they're not doing any tillage except for cleaning out the, the furrows to, to get the water to go to the end of the field. So besides that, there's, there's no tillage. Uh, so this is the process of doing bulk density. Uh, so well, the lab portion, the field portion I already did. But, so in the lab, this is what we do. We get our pan, this a bread pan, it's pretty rusted out, but it's what happens when you put soil in it, of course. So we've got our bread pan, we get the tear weight or the, the weight with it with nothing in it. So I know that this pan weighs about 153 grams. So we take this empty pan, I know the mass of it already, and here's my bulk density core. So this is just a, well, it's 10 centimeters. So 10 centimeters of that much diameter soil, which it's five. So it's a five by 10 cylinder full of just the soil. So that core goes down in the ground, pull it out. And this is what we're gonna be sampling the bulk density from. So you gotta get this lid off, and it works best with gloves, I found that out. Um, you can take these caps off. Before we'd like take a screwdriver and we'd like pry it off, but this just pops out. Oh, except for I flip soil everywhere. So you, get, you gotta get your little brush and it helps to, to brush whatever's stuck to the lid so there's nothing in there. Put that in my cleaning bucket. Get the other end off. Maybe <clears throat> clean that one out. And before I forget, I'm going to brush this soil that I flipped clear over there. And, uh... Okay, so there it is without the lid on it. Um, just a whole bunch of soil. And you hope that you can use this to get it out. This little, well, it's not little, this large dowel, it's a piece of wood. Anywho, um, so let's see if it comes out easily. If not, we have a jack and we jack it out. Oh, wowza, okay. Well, that was exciting. <laughs> okay. I just gotta clean off the, the pusher. I don't even know what we call this thing. I just, I always just call it the pusher. I'm sure it has a name. But it worked perfect. So there's the pusher. Okay, so I'm gonna get the, the residues out of here. Because every gram counts when it comes to bulk density. You wanna, Whatever you cut out of that piece of soil, you want to get all of it out. So there's still, you probably can see there's still some residues in there. So I just have to brush those out. Okay, got that cleaned out. Wash bucket. And if you want it to dry faster, you can break up these little pieces. So there's a piece of it, a beautiful little soil. It breaks apart very nicely. Okay, so now that's all broken apart, I made a big mess. So I gotta sweep it all. Cause every gram counts. Every little piece of soil counts. So I'm gonna brush everything in there that I knocked out. 
and voila, it's ready to go in the oven. So after this, after it's gone in the oven, I'm gonna take it out, take this pan, I'm gonna put it on the scale, and then from that, because I took the initial tear weight of the pan, I can subtract the pan's weight out and get the mass of the soil. And then to get bulk density, it's grams per centimeter cube, so it's mass per volume. And you'll take the, uh, oh, there I go dumping out some of the soil. You, you take the, the grams of the soil divided by the volume of this cylinder. So grams of this, volume of this, divide it. And it'll give you your bulk density. So last year we were getting around 1.5 for the bulk density. Which anything over 1.8 is not very good. And your soil is really compacted. So like where the tractors drive a lot, that's going to be a lot higher bulk density than on top of the, the ground where the plants are growing, on the top of the furrow. Okay, so the bulk density samples right here. They've been in the oven at 105 degrees Celsius for 48 hours now. After they've been in there, take them out, let them cool down. And then we'll take one of these pans, it's already cooled down, and we'll place it on the scale. On the scale, I'll get the combined mass of the two, and then I'll subtract out the mass of the pan, which I got prior to putting the samples in it. After that, Subtracting out the pan mass, we will get the mass of the soil. And then that mass of the soil will be used in our calculation to get bulk density. And bulk density is calculated by taking mass of the soil divided by the volume. Mass over volume, and that equals the bulk density. And that's it for this lab portion. See you next time. If you like what you see, subscribe and hit the bell so you know when more are coming.